Um, the reason we're having the protest is for several reasons. We've received thousands of grievances within this year alone, and schools only started on the 24th in regards to the administration building, whether it was the financial aid department, whether it was customer service, or um, different services that should be given to students. We have thousands of students who are not validated, meaning they haven't been able to register for classes. We have thousands of students who were promised housing prior to coming to Howard University who found themselves homeless when they got here and who are still homeless to this day. Um, we also have inefficient you know, learning facilities. We're requesting 24-hour, um, seven days a week for the libraries to be open so that students can have facilities to actually study in. Um, we're requesting that housing, you know, they come up with a proposal for new housing facilities to be built by August of 2011. Um, so we're asking a lot of things of the administration and what we're doing today. Um, the way they can stop us today is if President Rebro agrees to address and answer all of our demands by Wednesday, September the 9th. Um, what we're going to be doing, we're out there, um, Brian Smart and Jerome Joseph are going to go up to President Rebro's office and present him with our list of demands and then they will leave. And if he agrees to come outside at that time and address the students who are there, and promise us that they will submit their answers and address our concerns on that Wednesday. And the way they would do that, they will email it to the chief of staff of the Hilltop so that they can be published. So um, if that is agreed upon, then we will go ahead and we will cease for the day. If our demands aren't met, if they're just you know said that they will be and they aren't, we will protest again. <laughs> was not started by Houston originally. This this protest was started by a student who just got okay. so, 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 and we are the precious gifts of Howard University. Don't let them take that away from you. We're about to make change today. We're about to take a stand for what is rightfully ours. Our demands will be met. No more silence. 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 We came with one purpose, that the students would be first. We came out here organized, and we came out here... Listen up! When we came out here, we came with one thing on our minds. Students would be first. That's in our financial aid offices. That's in our aid building. That is in our classrooms. That is all across this university. And we're standing here on the legacy of Howard University.
Unity. The legacy of truth and service. And that service must come from the office of the President, the Board of Trustees, and this A building. Now when we come out here, we're not coming out here to get rowdy. We're coming out here to be peaceful, but we're coming out here to take a stand. So when you come out here, you come out here in the name of Howard University. You come out here for the great Martin Luther King. You come out here for the Zornell Hurston. You come out here representing not only black America, but what is right. So when you come out here, you remember that change is here. It is not coming. When you come out here, you come out here with the fire of Howard University. Yeah. We're not here. We're not here representing any organization. We're representing the students of Howard University. Who is first? Students first. 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 Barack Obama, a black man, can be elected president.
president of the United States, then how are you the university can build new doors? Yeah!